Just threw up. Here it goes. Where are you guys? Where are you going? Is that good for you? Hey, so this week, guys, we're going back to, you know, 70 years back in the detective era where, you know, there's cold murders, beautiful women, and Alistair. <laughs> I'm beautiful. You are pretty beautiful. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm a woman. This game, yes, <laughs> you liked it. It is a game. Oh, my Give God. some room here. Look at that camera. That's my camera. That's your camera. This is my camera. Okay. Listen, that game was not as fun as you made it sound. What game? Uh, the game we played. What was it called? Gunrod? That's the, that's the game. It's Gunrod. Gunrod. Um, lit, so, anyways, this game, Ontario 141, Gunrod. So, I loved it. I thought it was good for what they were trying to do. I think very good presentation. I, it gets you. The music was really well done. Me, I will give it that. I okay. like the music. Um, very good style. That's what I. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I thought the way that they did the style for this game, it built a certain atmosphere, and it didn't come across as contrived. And that's what I. I really liked. I. I agreed with you that it wasn't the most original concept for a game. I'll let you sort of continue from there. It, yeah, it wasn't original because it's like it's a uh, run and gun, shoot them up, yeah. you know, um, dodging bullets. You, you had three item, three different guns. I mean, that's not a lot of selection. Yeah, it was a lot of the same enemies, uh, like five, True. six enemies. True. There was only like three bosses in the game. Yeah. Because um, we skipped ahead and yeah, got to, you like, can skip level. every level. Yeah, that, kinda that was surprising. It. We found that, and I didn't like that. Oh. Like, why would you be able to like, skip every level? That's that very just takes it takes away from the game itself. Yeah. It's like you it it takes away from the self satisfaction of being the game because it is a harder game. Um, that's what I thought was interesting because it sort of reminded me of a game like an Amiga game that came out a long time ago or a Commodore sixty four game because it sort of had that style and graphics like it wasn't complicated. No, like so, it, graphically wise, I did, like uh, sorry, uh, artist wise, not say graphics is. I mean, yeah. come on. Graphically? Yeah, <laughs> graphically. Oh, graphically. It was great. <laughs> um, it was not for me. Yeah. Like, it, I, there was one enemy there, I wasn't even sure what it was until we saw it in a different oh, light. Yeah. Like, it just, because it looked like a floating jacket that was like going like this. Like, I mean. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't take your clothes to the cleaners, so they're haunting you now. Inside yeah. Inside the hotel or whatever. I don't know. It's and in some of the enemies, it just couldn't. I couldn't understand what I was looking. Then at. it looked like a badger to me. It looked like this badger was walking towards me. I'm like, this doesn't fit. This fits like the first game. Wait, no, you. Tried this well, week. you said earlier. You said it was like a an oyster or like an octopus or something like that. And, and oh, I, and like I started squidward. Thinking, not squid squid, 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 it's not a deep game. The fact that we could beat most of it, and it was really hard at first. But I think if you do like a run and gun and sort of be cheap because the enemies are cheap, yeah, then it gets a lot easier. Like it's not a game that's super hard, and it, you have to replay it. Like it's not like Dark Souls. Yeah, it it's forgiving. Yeah, it's sort of kind of yeah. It's got a good mix there. I'd say that. Graphically though, I just, it's like that doesn't work. Um, but then when you get to um, buying the game, what you said it was like a five dollar game. It was five bucks. It might have been two to five. Yeah. So I, mean, I wouldn't pay five bucks for a game that has like five levels. That's five. Yeah. It's a dollar a level, and each of those levels feel like you know you can beat them in like thirty seconds once you know them. Yeah. So I mean, it reminded yeah. me again going back to the Commodore sixty four idea. Uh, it reminded me of like I think it's Dangerous Dave on the Amiga where you're like this Indiana Jones clone guy with like big teeth and big like chin 
and uh, you're supposed to go around and you drop like dynamite sticks and it's kind of like that and you have to avoid like traps and stuff and it reminded me of that just because it was 2D and it seemed like you had to be careful with your weapons and you like that game it was a lot harder than this game this game seemed a lot harder when we started but then as we played and like sort of adapted to the speed of the enemy's bullets and everything it wasn't as hard anymore yeah, like and we started being bullets. as cheap we adapt to bullets <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, you, when you just eat, what, sometimes you just gotta take deal with it. You get one stuck in your stomach, you live keep with going. a bullet in your stomach. Who cares? Keep your cigarette light. He does. <laughs> what I'm impressed is he gets hit, and his cigarettes like always rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, you actually, they they didn't describe say that he was a detective either. Yeah, that's just, true. You go in there, and then it could be just a chain smoker going around shooting. People. Yeah, he's, he's like, how, how do you know? He's got a cigarette. He's got his ha his fedora and his little uh, we didn't really get water backstory, wind so. thing, yeah, water wind thing, water wind thing. But uh, no, I think if this game was two bucks, I think it's you know if you want something that has a unique experience, I think the two dollars in this case is good compared to World, which we played mm. earlier, where uh, it just. There was no music. I'm glad that's the last one, the first one we played, because then that would have been a shit game to end on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I wanted to go back to Science Combat because I couldn't remember at the time when we recorded, was a week ago? Yeah. I couldn't remember at the time what it reminded me of. And it reminded me of just the reason why we, I think we were so critical with it was that fighting games have really evolved since then. Like, yeah. it reminded me of Street Fighter 1, actually, and Time Killers oh, yeah. in the arcade. Like, yeah. I'm really dating myself here, but Time Killers, I think I was like eight when it came out, and there was just, there were no combos. No, and no, yeah, it so was, I was very simple, like they had two I buttons. Think, yeah, so I think with Science Combat, you know, it sort of goes back to that sort of time, and that's why when we were playing it, I realized, okay, you know, so much has changed, and we're sort of yeah. got used to all these like combos yeah. and like, you know, Yoga Flame makes your character go. So, I think I think with Science Combat, that's that's one thing. Uh, it makes you appreciate like how much things have changed in like twenty years or more of Street Fighter, yeah. and all those new things. So, I, well, you know, if you're gonna keep up with the times, you gotta make it. Or break it, you know? yeah. And that game, be something, something new, or yeah. Like if they're trying to hone old, hone to the old game style. I mean, I get it, but uh, it just doesn't work nowadays. It's yeah. not gonna, it's not gonna sell. I sound like Donald Trump right now. Shh. Just like make America great. Listen, China, 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 China. Mexico. I've heard of some people wall. doing this, but I can do it better. <laughs> uh, no, but it's just like it's not. It's not gonna prove to bode well with common gamers nowadays. Yeah. So unless, you're, unless you're into the retro stuff, I know yeah. you like retro stuff. I do too. I, I do. So I, I respect it. it. I beat it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did like it, but I skipped the level. I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I think it's cool for like a a temporary diversion, but as a game that will it pass? Like, will it actually last the passage of time? No, I totally agree with you on that. And uh, yeah, I, I think <laughs> our Sorry, the laser hitting me way too hard. You can do whatever you want with that camera. Run around if you want. Yeah, that's the camera where we're just gonna have weird angles and stuff yeah. like that. Zoom so, in on faces uh, if you want. Yeah. So I think this game, yeah, like for two bucks, I think it's pretty solid with uh, you know a really well done score and like the presentations. Yeah. Pretty sweet for sure. But will it win? Any awards? I'm not sure. It, yeah. It's not I'm like pretty sure it won't. The, yeah. It will not win the no. award. I can guarantee that. That's a guarantee. But I will tell you this. I would still give it like a 3.5. So, I mean, that's better than the other games we've played. I yeah. mean, other than the love, whatever. But there's a different space time. Yeah, titles. It's, it's a hard title to remember because, like, you, I, I remember Love's bit, and it's like, oh, what's the next bit to get to the time? Make an acronym of it. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh, the acronym? Lurbadogger. <laughs> that sounds like the, <laughs> the Swedish chef trying to. Herbadirdy Burger. I would pay to see that. The Swedish chef doing a video game review. We should yes. do it. We could do that. Yeah. 
But uh, anyways, I like this game, but once I found out like we had played through two thirds of it, it kind of sucked because yeah. it was really well done, but it was so short. Short. Yeah. What would you rate it? What would you give it? I would at least give it a three because you can tell like a lot of effort went into making that sort of mood and yeah. graphics. But as a long term, like a good purchase, uh, it probably wouldn't be the best. It wouldn't be the best game on the Steam for sure. No. Um, for the money, it's pretty good value. But mm -hmm. you'd you have always to be, say that. You'd have to be. I don't. You have to be a fan of like that type of game, though. Yeah, I don't. You know, I wouldn't see myself going back to it. I guess I'm just a really cheap person. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd say not worth the money. Mm. Wait until it goes on sale. Get it for like a for dollar, a <laughs> dollar, yeah. And then you know, I wouldn't even say that. Maybe like, just cents? don't buy it. Or, or when it get it. when it gets free, no get buy. It. Um, but if you like those kind of games, you're looking for something quick, and you have the extra money to spend, and you're willing to like fork money up for games that are overpriced, go ahead because it is a good game. But yeah. I think it's the it's the style for me. Like I thought it was, uh, you know, pretty cool. So, all right, all right. Until the next game next week. No, I was gonna say, like, is there anything like multiplayer, or is it just single There's player? There's no, no multiplayer. Nothing. Like no that's nothing. why I was sort of like, oh, I like this game, but suddenly it's over. Yeah, no multiplayer. There's a level left, and we beat it in like half an hour. So yeah, that's pretty for two bucks. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah, in multiplayer, you definitely would add an extra couple of bucks. We're not. Yeah, I, it I mean, would make it worth it. Like gumshoe versus gumshoe. You don't even have to have a complicated multiplayer. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's like literally all you need is three guns and two people fight each other or yeah. fight a horde. Online, just like a map, make it yeah. like a duck game in a way. Yeah, and then and well, then just even the different staircases. I think that would, you know, it wouldn't yeah. be hard for them to do. Do you know just, duck game? Duck game? Duck I've game's heard fucking that. unbelievable. We should play Duck Game on the channel. Yes. Okay. Alright. Well, see you guys next time. Keep on game. Captain. Keep on game? Game, game Keep game, your games. games. Keep game on. Game on. Oh.